Hey everybody, it is Scott the Steamroller Steam coming to you from deep in the bowels of the Winners and Winers Sports and Entertainment Complex to bring you today, day three. As always, you know the drill. You like what we're doing? Take a minute, smash that thumbs up. Thank you very much. Subscribe to our channel. If you haven't done so already, we'd appreciate that leap of faith. And of course, don't forget to check out my partner, Scott Reichel and I, as we do our thing each and every day, 3 p.m. Eastern, 2 p.m. Central, right here on the YouTubes as we broadcast live, take questions from you, and uh, generally have a pretty good time and uh, handicap a few games along the way. So make sure you check that out uh, Monday through Friday, and uh, we'd appreciate it. And of course, we want to know what you're playing. Whatever you got cooked up for today, put those plays in the comment section. You make a profit, we'll give you the shout out. And you get enough of them right, you make enough of a profit, and you could be the capper of the day. All right, kids, we'll take a quick look at uh, yesterday's action. Oh, sigh. It was uh, kind of a brutal day. Eastern Illinois, Austin P. the game I was worried the most about, ironically. Uh, Eastern Illinois, back to their uh, backsliding ways. They suck. Uh, the under hit there. But the uh, Norfolk State, Delaware State, under 133 and a half. That was a brutal beat. We missed by a uh, point and a half. And this is after they had 49 points in the first half. Just ridiculous fucking beat. So, uh, and then the nightcap, you, uh, Tulsa and UCF played at a pace we hadn't seen from those teams, both of them, all year long as they uh, ended up going over the total. We missed by three and a half. So, not happy about the results. I'm not necessarily discouraged. I, thought, I still think we're on the right track there. On the premium side, we had the Kansas State Wildcats. They uh, got off the map there. Well, they weren't that down. They were down seven, I think, at half. But they had a much better second half, and they rallied to take a uh, victory over West Virginia and covered the three. And in the NBA, uh, that's why I love the NBA. We had Toronto minus four. And New Orleans absolutely curb stomped them. Got off to a quick start, and uh, they could get nothing going because the uh, the Raptors, even with everybody healthy, didn't matter. So one and one, we go premium. One and two, we go on the uh, on the free play, and we did uh, we did have the uh, uh, bet the farm play that did come in for us. So we were uh, we were good. We were good there. Always always happy to. Uh, to get that going, as uh, it was a little bit of doubt there at the uh, kind of in, in the fourth quarter, as uh, um, we just couldn't. Uh, that was uh, <laughs> I'm, I'm, I'm blanking on the name. I was, I was trying to look it up real fast here. <laughs> Who we have? Damn it! Damn it! Um, all right, now you're gonna let me do it. I went to the wrong day. Yeah. Who'd we have? God damn it. <laughs> All right. Anyway, we had him over we had him over 23. Oh, oh, fuck. It was Darren Fox of the Kings. God damn. Uh, we had him over 23 and a half points. I think he ended up with uh, 26, 27. So, okay, we got there. God, don't ever get old, folks. Your brain goes away. So, anyway, let's uh, take a look and uh, see what we got cooked up for today. So, that's going to be uh, oh, yeah. It's a one and two, one and one, two and three, and three, okay, three and three on the day, not ideal. Um, so let's see. No, is that right? That's not right. One and two, two and three, yeah, three and three. All right. So anyway, we're gonna look to make money today. How about that, guys? We've got three plays once again. We've got two overs and an under today. I'm gonna play Buffalo Bowling Green. I'm gonna play the over there. It's over 162 and a half. I know that is a ton. This Buffalo defense is next fucking level atrocious. Uh, Indiana State, speaking of atrocious defenses, Indiana State, Missouri State, over 131 and a half. And we're going to move to the Pac-12. We're going to play our unders. Colorado and Oregon State get together there uh, under 138. All right. So to recap, Buffalo, Bowling Green, over 162 and a half. Indiana State, Missouri State, over 131 and a half, and Colorado, Oregon State, under 138. At the end of those three, you guys can join me as we pick up our winning tickets and head back to the window. All right, guys, you know how I did yesterday. Let's uh, check in and see how y'all did. There were some struggles out there, but the people that cashed, cashed some big tickets. So, first of all, uh, retro shout out to Nathan Cerner. He had a two team uh, teaser yesterday. Uh, little Shortman had the Rams minus two and a half and under 50. Nicely done, buddy. 
Uh, today, Stephen the Godfather goes on and goes 1 0 plus 500. He had the Leafs on to the puck line. Uh, Brandon Surface goes 1 0 plus 500. He had the Uwe Pui and uh, uh, Illinois Chicago under 126 and a half. The Carrot, I remember your brother, going 3 0 plus 300 on the Carrot deep three. Uh, and Jay Seaton goes 1 0 plus 1300 as he had a two team parlay. But. Your capper of the day, again, unfair advantage. You know him, you love him. He's a blast from the past. It's the time traveler, everybody, going 1 0 plus 2,500. As he had a parlay that paid 5 to 1. He had a three team parlay, including uh, the Oilers that were minus 155. So that's why it paid a little bit less. But you know what? Still paid enough to make uh, the time traveler a uh, happy man, and it paid enough to make the time traveler the capper of the day. Well done, sir. And well done to the rest of you guys. Nice uh, nice profit there for uh, for some of you. So let's see if we can uh, keep that going for you guys. And let's see if we can get it going for the rest of us. All right? You guys have a day. You guys have a great day. Thanks very much for watching, of course. Don't forget to check us out once again every day, 3 p.m. Eastern, 2 p.m. Central, as Scott and I will do our very best to help you to head back to the window. Take care, everybody. We'll see you then.